Hey, it's Feels Good Man. Most of the videos on YouTube about boosting Crunker FPS relate to the game settings or mods that you can use. So this video is gonna focus on lesser known tricks that you can do that are outside of the game itself to increase your FPS significantly. FPS is really important in Crunker and it looks like it's gonna to continue to be that way because the game's FPS is tied to the game's physics. These tweaks should also work well for other PC games, but I did try them all using Crunker and Crunker is a really great game to test things like this because um, the frame rates can go higher than other games. For each of the tips, I'll let you guys know which software or operating system it works on, like the Crunker client or the web browser, for example. Also, just try to be patient and um, experiment with things. Um, I do practice most of the things in this video, but some things are gonna work better for you than me and then vice versa as well. As a disclaimer, although I would say that these tricks are pretty safe to do, um, whenever you're tweaking performance, uh, you may be sacrificing stability. So proceed at your own risk. Um, also, make sure that you have unlimited FPS enabled. The first trick is on Windows and it works on any of the Crunker clients. It also technically works on Chrome, but it's better on the clients. Um, so first thing is make sure that um, Crunker is already open. Go to Task Manager, Control Alt Delete. And then by default, you'll see the processes on the left. Um, it's perfectly normal for Crunker to have multiple processes. And then um, you wanna go over to the Details tab in Task Manager and go down to um, every instance of the Crunker client. Right click it, set priority, and set it to high. And this just tells um, the OS that uh, Croker is very important, which I'm sure it is to you guys. And the reason why you do it for everything is because the way that the client is built, it's built on a framework called Electron, and Electron can run multiple processes at once um, for better performance. Uh, it works similarly to the way that tabs work in a web browser. Oh yeah, one thing is, please be careful, do not um, set your priority to real time because that means it's gonna take uh, precedence over even really important system processes and it can lead to crashing. Here's a bonus tip in Windows. So right click on desktop, go to display settings and then click right here on the bottom. This is for Windows 10, of course, graphic settings. And then um, you can browse for the app. Uh, so you locate the app wherever the AXE is. Uh, in this case, I set up Crunker and then um, set it to high performance. This next one is gonna be important with the warm weather that's coming up, and that is fan control to keep your system cool. Um, you wanna keep your GPU, if you have one, and CPU cool, because your performance is always gonna be limited by um, thermals. So there's a lot of different ways to control the fans. Um, I control it in the BIOS slash GUIFI. So if you know how to do that, you can set it up that way. If you're on Windows, there's a free program called Speed Fan. So if you Google it, you can download it for free. And on Mac, there are also a variety of fan control software. So um, it does work on a laptop and uh, it's a really great option. However you decide to do it, I recommend just sticking to one method because you don't want the uh, different pieces of software interfering with each other. So your main fan that cools the CPU, it might be a sys fan, might be a CPU fan. Um, what you wanna do is just like uh, increase them to 100%, test it out, watch your temps. If they go down, then it's good but you also have to balance noise with cooling. And you can adjust your GPU fan speed as well using software like um, MSI Afterburner, or in my case, the ROG software because I have an ROG GPU. So I'm here in the user-defined mode and you can just lift up like the fan curve, hit save, and you will have more GPU cooling for free. So next, I'm gonna be talking about ways you can physically cool the device that you're using. And some of this might sound crazy, but um, in the past, when I was super into um, PUBG Mobile, I used to throw my phone in the freezer and I would get some really good performance out of it for like 20 minutes. So this especially relates to a laptop, whether it's like a regular laptop or a Chromebook or a MacBook. And that's just because uh, desktops usually have more powerful cooling. Um, if you are using a desktop though, just make sure that it's like not stuck in a corner or on a carpet. If you're on a laptop, the first thing that you wanna do is plug in a spare mouse and keyboard. Um, because you'd be surprised about how much heat transfers from your hands uh, to the laptop itself. I'm guessing most players who are serious about Crunker um, are playing using a mouse, but they might not be using a dedicated keyboard. So I definitely recommend this. At some point, especially when it's really hot, um, it, the cooling is only gonna be good as the ambient temperature. So there are good ways to promote airflow in the room. 
Um, opening up a window is good. If it's um, cooler outside than it is inside. Either way, you don't want heat to be trapped in a room. On a really hot day, um, if you don't have an air conditioner, I do have a general tip, even for just like cooling your house. Uh, you can turn on all the vents. So if you have a, a, a vent in the bathroom, uh, kitchen hood, if you turn them all on, um, the hot air from inside the house will exhaust to the outside of the house. And by the way, you can put your laptop in the fridge or freezer. Um, again, just do it at your own risk and don't forget it because uh, condensation can destroy it. But it works. I mean, you can throw it in the freezer for like five minutes and cool down the device and you'll have really good performance for like the next 10 minutes or so. The next tip is gonna be specific to um, Chrome users or people who play Crunker on the Google Chrome web browser and that's gonna be the Chrome flag section. And a lot of these settings are experimental settings. So again, proceed with caution. Also, there's just so many settings. So I had to do some digging around to find uh, things that worked for people in other games. So you can see this list on screen. I found this from a, a forum user by the name of Virtuoso X from the Congregate forum, which is like a website to play free games. I haven't tested these myself. Um, in this case, it would simply be too time intensive and I don't typically play on Chrome. But I think this might be a good starting place if you are a Chrome user. So now on to another Windows related tip, and this one really does make a big difference. In your search, uh, search for advanced system settings, hit enter and click on settings. And basically what you wanna do is turn off a lot of these visual effects. And I've also noticed that it makes um, using Windows more enjoyable when you disable these uh, pointless animations. The good thing is that your uh, system's performance will also improve um, even when you're uh, running applications outside of the Windows Explorer. Beyond that, there's a few other tweaks in the performance options as well in the advanced tab, um, but I don't really have any solid recommendations quite yet, so I'll let you guys know later. In a previous video, I mentioned RAM disk, which I once tried uh, with Crunker, and although I'm not currently using it, I think that's still a really good option for people who have slow hard drives or a slow SSD. Crunker is also a great game for RAM disk because it's a very small file size. So I'll quickly run through the step-by-step -step instructions. Um, first thing you wanna do is uninstall Crunker. You are gonna wanna make your um, hidden folders visible in the Windows Explorer and then um, delete anything related to Crunker in the app data, local and roaming folder. Um, that's where the uh, some of the cache is stored. Get the program called IM Disk. I think it's the best one. There's a variety of IM Disk software types, but the one that's the easiest is gonna be called the RAM Disk configuration. And then using IM Disk, you wanna create your actual drive. And um, I did two gigs, but you could probably do a lot less. And then you go ahead and click OK, and then it's gonna create the drive. Um, and then open it in Windows Explorer, install Crunker on there, and um, you're good to go. However, this does not mean that all of the game's files are running on RAM. You have to set up the junction link that points from the hidden folders in your C drive over to the RAM disk. Um, easiest way to do that is download a tool called Link Shell Extension, but you can also do this with a command prompt. And then um, again, go to your hidden folders, so app data local and roaming, and then find anything related to Crunker. After you've installed the Link Shell extension, you can um, right click and then in the right click menu, uh, click on pick link source. And then you'll go over to um, the RAM disk and then you can create a folder. You can call it whatever you want, just like temp or something. And then create that folder, right click on that folder that you just created, click drop link as junction in the right click menu, um, which means that the files will actually be stored on the RAM disk. You launch Crunker, um, play a game, close it. After that, you're gonna wanna create a copy of the image file. Otherwise, you're gonna have to start the entire installation process over again. So um, you do that by going to uh, IM Disk Virtual Disk Driver, and then um, you'll find whatever disk is currently running. Right click and save image as. And then you're gonna go back to RAM Disk Configurator. And then uh, in the data tab on the right, you can load the content from this file. Hit OK. It's gonna um, uh, refresh the drive and you can make it start automatically uh, at Windows Startup. I know some people will say that it doesn't matter um, because the files get copied into RAM anyways, but um, there are still advantages to have a RAM disk. So those are some PC tweaks that I recommend um, for trying to boost Crunker FPS. Um, so try them out, definitely experiment with things. They work well for me, but especially for a game like Crunker, you're definitely going to have to test things out. And thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. And thank you for helping me reach 20,000 subscribers. I did not think that I could get here this early. 
and it's only been about one year since I started. Uh, my first video on the channel was posted on April 30th. So this is really amazing. I'm just happy that you guys like the content that I've been making. Also, another celebration is definitely in order. I'm still working out the details, but I'll let you guys know soon. Thank you.